Hello, I'm Christy Farrow with Hannah Stamps. Um, we get asked a lot of times about how to mount our unmounted stamps. And so today I'm going to show you how to do that. It's very easy. There's multiple ways, but I'm going to show you the least expensive way and probably the easiest way to mount your stamps. When you get your unmounted stamps, they come in just a uh, square or some type of, um, you know, just an unmounted form. As you can see, they are extremely deeply etched rubber and uh, so they're gonna it's gonna be very easy to work with so what you're gonna do is when you get them you want to trim the excess rubber around them because if you don't if you just put it on your block and stamp the edges are gonna get uh, inked so what you want to do is take any type of scissors I use my uh, stamping up scissors um, and I go ahead and I trim the edges as close as I can get them as sometimes you can see I don't get them you know I, I do leave some spots but I get them as close as I can so what you want to do it's just plain rubber and uh, the most easiest way to do is um, what I do is I wet the back just get a little bit of water wet the back of your stamp don't get it extremely wet you can see it's just damp okay and then go ahead and uh, stick it on your clear block you're gonna need a clear block um, to, to work with and as you can see the back I don't know if you can see through the light it makes like a suction and you're ready to go and I want to show you go ahead and ink it up and it still sticks to the back of the acrylic Stamp it out. I mean, you can stamp all day long with this. It's not going to break suction. So they stamp really, really well. And then when you're done, you can leave it on, uh, clean your stamps off, take it off, and uh, wipe it off. You can use a cloth or whatever. And here is a, um, a mounted stamp that's on the wood. It has the cushion and then the rubber. I mean, it stamps It stamps the same. It stamps pretty good. I didn't really push on the middle of that. You can tell my stamps are used quite a bit. But, <clears throat> excuse me, you can really um, use that. Also, you can use double-sided tape and just stick on the back of your stamp. If there's any uh, hanging over the edge, just flip it and go ahead and... Uh, mount that on as well and then that will that will work well but if you don't have double-sided tape I mean just wet the back of them I even lick the back of my stamps if I you know if I don't have a dish of water handy I just I know it's gross but I lick the back of my stamp and it works just the same and then you just take your double-sided tape so if you didn't want to wet the back of your stamp just very lightly just wet the back rub it all the way around press and it really really holds I don't know if I have room here Ta -da! so it, it really works really well and that's just with suction so there you go also if you don't have acrylic blocks a lot of people don't have acrylic blocks or they don't want to invest in the acrylic blocks right away what you can do is use the back of another stamp and with that, I've never, I don't think it works with water, but with the back of another stamp, you can uh, use double-sided tape. Find one that fits. I don't know if this is going to fit. And then, so there you have a stamp on a wood. I mean, it works the same way, too. So if you don't want to go ahead and invest right away in uh, acrylic blocks, just take the back of a, a, a wooden stamp. It doesn't have to be ours. It can be any anybody's. And uh, use that. So I hope this helps you. Thank you.